Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is the word of the Lord for us today. We are told to bow before the Lord, for He is worthy of all our praise. You know, there's something very powerful when we bow before the Lord. Something awesome. This means you are surrendering to His Lordship and power. The Hebrew word here is for Baruch. It means to bow in the awesome presence of the Lord. The word awesome does not even do the Lord justice. How can you describe a being who created all that is seen and known? He also created the unseen and the unknown. In fact, we know from pictures of space that God is creating right now. And to think that He wants a relationship with us is totally mind-boggling. What is even more mind-boggling is the fact that He chose to humble Himself in the form of man and become our Redeemer. Jesus, when He was battling in the Garden of Gethsemane, was choosing to die so that you and I might have life. That God Himself would hang on the cross for our sins is a staggering concept to grasp. That God would allow Himself to be wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. That we would be healed by the stripes He bore on His body. To bow before the Lord is a very small thing. To pay homage to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is a very small sacrifice. This is an expression of worship. To acknowledge His Lordship and authority is nothing in compared to what He has done for us. As the old song says, He left the splendors of heaven knowing His destiny. He died for us on a hill called Golgotha. To bow is an act of love. And to do that really is nothing. So bow before the Lord, acknowledge Him and adore Him. Worship Him. And when you do, He will lift you up. It's just another way to say, Praise the Lord. So let's say it one more time. Praise the Lord. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is the word of the Lord for us today. You have yourself a great and godly day.